Hello, in this episode, we are going to talk about how to bring in a CAD PAT hatch pattern file into Revit and make it a part of Revit's fill patterns. So let's begin. In the last episode, we already learned that we could go into the Manage, Additional Settings under Fill Patterns to create a new fill pattern. We also learned about the difference between a drafting pattern type and the model pattern type. I'm going to create a new drafting pattern. Instead of using the basic pattern type, which only gives us the option of either creating a hatch pattern that has parallel lines or cross hatch. But today I want to create a wood pattern, so I'm going to use the custom pattern here. This feature allows you to browse to a PAT file format. If you're a CAD user, you may already be familiar with PAT file formats. If you already have a .PAT file format from your CAD database, you can very well use that. If you don't, there are also many online resources from where you can download them. For example, this is an online resource of cadhatch.com, which gives us royalty-free AutoCAD hatch patterns. I have downloaded this particular hatch pattern that I'm going to use for today's video tutorial. So I'm going to browse and go to the particular file that I have downloaded from here. This is a PAT file that already contains a hatch pattern that I need. I'm going to open that up. And now I have to change the import scale. For example, I'm going to try making a 0.1. This looks a little bit too big. So I'm going to make it 0.01. This looks to me all right. I'm going to say OK to this. And I'm going under annotation, fill region. I'm going to duplicate my fill region and call it wooden pattern. I'm going to use my foreground fill pattern. I'm going to find the one that I created and I'm going to say OK to this. And, and let's draw a fill region. I'm going to finish this. On 1 is to 10 scale, it looks something like this. On 1 is to 100, it's going to look something like this. You may come back to your manage. Additional settings and fill patterns. Look for the one that you created. Use this edit option and change the scale if there is a need. Let's say I'm going to make it 0.05. I'm going to say OK to this. And on 1 is to 10 scale, it's going to look pretty much OK to me now. So this is where Revit and CAD works perfectly with each other. You can bring in the CAD hatch pattern PAT files into Revit and make them part of fill pattern at a scale that you need. I hope you enjoyed today's video. The next episode is going to be about masking region. What is the difference between a fill region and a masking region and how to use them? So please make sure that you have subscribed. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.